How's it going everybody? We finally made it to the camp. We're gonna clean this beautiful gar. I'm gonna take the shell off. I'm gonna take the meat out. I'm gonna fillet as much meat as possible. And um, you're gonna see me do that right now. You've seen my prior videos where we clean gar. Let's see how good we can do this gar today for you all, right? So let's get the show on the road. Let's get started, right? Let me see the pliers. All right, so as you see, as you can see, I start pinching the, the tail over here. Pinch the tail over here on this end. And I'll start on this end right here. I gotta get some good pliers so I can hold this top of the tail. Pinch it very tight so I can get a good grip while I go up. As you can see, I'm using the LCD 956 cleaver, baby. So, yeah. So this is how I start. Yeah, so as you can see, I started at the tail and I'm coming up. And once I get past this uh, fin over here, I just go straight down. All the way to the back or the top of the skull. That's it. So once we get that um, top part out, we're gonna start separating the meat from the shell. I'm gonna sharpen this knife. Now when you're doing, when you're getting to this part, you wanna use a short, sharp knife. Reason why you wanna go short is you can get better leverage, a better angle and you don't have to be too far, as I mentioned in my other videos. If you have a long knife, for example, if you have a long knife and you're trying to come up here and you're trying to do this, it doesn't work as good as going short and sharp. Check it out. And you just go along the skin and you want to tilt the blade towards the shell. Not the skin, like that you can save as much meat as possible. You gotta be very careful when you're doing this because you do have a short knife, you can scrape your knuckles against the shell and you can cut your knuckles open. And it can, these, these, uh, this shell is very, very sharp. So. Go ahead and do it all the way down from the tail to the hit. Turn them a little bit. Gotta be very careful everyone, practice makes perfect. Be very careful because you can cut yourself. If you're already starting to do this, try not to go fast, go slow, and watch everything you're doing carefully because one wrong move, you can slice your skin open. Once you get to the tail, right here at the tail, you have a soft spot where you can go with your knife all the way down. Just there, you will be able to get that soft spot. Anywhere else on the skin, you will not be able to. So, while we do that, we're gonna keep on taking off the shell. We're gonna come over here on this side. You wanna show them on this side? And uh, you wanna do the same thing you did to the other side. You wanna go along the shell, scraping that shell, and you wanna go all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. Just like uh, algebra, what you do to one side, you do it to the other, right? And uh, you wanna do that. I did a little better on the other side. Let me fix my, my little mistake here. I'm sorry about that, guys. I got a little nervous here for a second. <laughs> Spectators. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so when you get to the skull part and you open the skin like this, you want to kind of butter, I call it butterfly. Butterfly meaning you want to cut it open. Boom. You did that side, now you want to come to this side, you want to do the same. Be very careful with that cleaver before I get those people saying, oh, you almost chopped your forearm off. You almost cut your fingers off. Be careful, everybody. And then we do that. it's wide open I can put my cleaver and use my cleaver here since it's wide open all right 
so I'm using a serrated knife to for the next for the next part that I'm doing I'm using a serrated knife and this is to cut off that tail that serrated knife is going to cut straight through the bone just like that come back with this finish it off a little bit down here get your serrated knife again and you have to separate there's a bone here there's a bone that's for that bottom fin that you have to cut through with a serrated knife it's right there look I'm going to start going through it right here There, we got past it as you can see that's the bony part the serrated knife is going to help you if not you can use a cleaver and keep chomping away all right do not try this at home kids <laughs> to this part you want to keep on you want to keep on separating the the meat from the shell right here you have some more um fin bone or what you can you know there's probably another name for it but i call it the fin bone because it's another bony part just like we had down there and sometimes i like to cut around it i need to get through this first okay i'm gonna cut around See, this is a hard pin bone right there. We're gonna cut around it. And I'm going to start pulling this skin out. It's a little stuck right now. Go. Go. Here. Look at all those eggs, everybody. So those eggs are not edible. To my knowledge, to my knowledge, these eggs are toxic, poisonous, meaning don't eat them. Doesn't mean that, oh, if it touches the meat, the meat is poison. No, just don't eat the eggs. Just rinse off that meat properly and you'll be good. Let's get rid of the eggs. See, this thing's real sharp. I can feel that sharpness. It'll cut you open. Just keep pulling the skin out. I'm cutting away. Got all that. Now you're gonna flip the head over. All meat, no sin. Let me get a uh, my serrated knife to help me. All right. So once you get to the head area, you want to cut at an angle and over the top. Got to cut at an angle and over the top. Make sure you cut evenly all the way around. You want to cut the meat all the way around from the top to the bottom until you hit that bone. You don't have to cut, you don't have to cut through the bone. Watch. All you got to do is make sure you cut all the meat around. Cut all the meat around. You snap that neck and it comes off. Mm -hmm. Flip them around. So, I can take this off. <laughs> it's heavy that all that skin Just pulling it down get those eggs out of the way that's all it is to it mm. who's that check that out the leader's still in there this is my five six check, check out the leader guys Look where that leader is at. That leader is in there. It's right in there. All the way down the stove. I took an hour to bring it out. Leader never broke on me. All right, everybody. So 
So let's go ahead and take off the meat. I'm gonna rinse off my hands real quick. We'll rinse the meat once I, I take it off of the bone. Nice. I got a message real quick in two. Just in case it's an emergency, everything's good. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get some uh, sharpening going on. The key for filleting, for cleaning, for skinning. Make sure you have a, make sure you have a um, sharp knife sharpener. That's more important than having the best knife in the market, is having a knife sharpener. There's no point in having the best knife if you don't have a knife sharpener. This is a $5 <laughs> bait knife. So right here you have this bone. This is the, this is the, the bone. And this is what we're going to separate the meat from. So I'm, I'm tilting the knife towards the bone so I don't dig into the, to the meat. And I'll do a little slow so I can get the best cut out of it. You want to come on this side? Maybe it'll show me a little better. There you go. Gotta take it all the way to the top along, along that bone. That's fine. June 24th, 2022. Yeah, baby. Los Canaleros 956, Mark Villarreal. Yeah. I'm taking it slower, everybody, so y'all can see and I can get as much meat off of it as possible. Let me show you what one slab of this alligator gar looks like. That's what one slab. That's one slab. We still have another slab and we still have the belly meat. Oh, carne. Chicharron. Oh, bombe. So this is the belly meat. We're gonna go ahead and cut the belly meat off. This is our belly meat slab. This, this belly meat, a lot of people, they throw it away because they don't know any better. So I hope um, those of y'all that have thrown this away in the past did not know that this is very good and edible and delicious. It's, it is. Now you know. So we already finished one side. And as you know, as I always say, what you do to one side, you do to the other. Let's go ahead and get to the other side. I'm gonna go a little faster on this one. Second slab. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Delicious. Get our belly meat. Now your belly meat has that um, tendon that's called silver skin. Uh, and that's big thanks to all my uh, followers that 
educated me on what the proper name is. It's the silver skin. So the silver skin is basically this stretchy tendon that you want to get rid of. We're going to fillet this off. This is where I use the bubba. Bubba is very, very sharp, so it'll cut straight through that silver skin. You don't have to be perfect here, buddy. See, we took off that silver skin. Let's do the rest of it. So we got the spine, the bone. A lot of people throw it away. You can eat it if you like. Um, put it aside for now. So now we're gonna cut our slab so we can uh, rinse off our meat. We're gonna rinse off our meat. Very, very good. And then we are going to bag it up. Damn. This is what my customer came out here for. Very satisfied customers. That's for a wedding right there, guys. No vaca on this wedding. It's all Catan. Everyone, thanks for tuning in Los Canelos 956. We're gonna rinse off this meat. We're gonna go shower, we're gonna go barbecue. Um, a big shout out to all of our followers. Much love on behalf of Mark Villarreal. And uh, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, everybody. Do not forget to hit the little like, share, and comment. If you hit that little like and comment away, we're gonna get these videos out there more for people to watch and learn something and they can um, enjoy enjoy what um, alligator guard fishing is all about. And like I said, we're here having a great time. This fish is not gonna be put to waste. It is going to be consumed. So that's why we processed it and um, it's gonna be consumed because this is, this is a very great delicacy for us uh, Latin Americans <laughs> in the 956. Big shout out to Cali Productions, a big shout out to Brandon Lee Soto, and um, a big shout out to Raul Reyes for coming out here and fixing my vehicle. He came, he figured out the problem, he hauled his, he hauled his ass all the way to town about 30 minutes, 45 minutes from here to make it on time to the auto parts to get the part for my vehicle and come back, take off that throttle body, put in that part and get us back on the road. So big shout out, much love to Raul Reyes. A big shout out to Rick Diaz because I called Rick Diaz and I told him, Rick Diaz, I need some of your luck. We've been here for a couple of hours and we have no action and he gave us the luck, everybody. Big shout out to everybody. See you all on the next one, everybody. Fish on.